Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanide Software. Today I'm going to talk about our sculpt tool and our retopologize plane. This is the start of our retopologizing tools. We'll have some other ones coming up soon that you'll be able to see. Um, so basically what this is to do is to clean up, uh, basically retopologize. So uh, if there's not enough verts, just evenly place them. You know, if you had something like this and you were going to add, say, a turbo smooth, it's gonna get messy and you're not gonna really have you know some clean stuff so basically our retopo plane um, you can set it to whatever you want when you're set and just go retopo your plane and you have new geometry so um, it does go through and fix a lot of things um, on stuff like this if we were to actually just look at this geometry itself the tessellate is actually really mess this up so on some cases, or we have overlapping stuff, the way that we're doing this retopo, it's a little different and it only really works for planes. So if we wanna just go set down to our surface, let's just say we'll do this to sort of clean it up. Um, it, it's a little slower in 2017 and we haven't figured that out yet, but it's really fast in 2016 and below. Uh, but it will go through and, and actually retopo and clean up this terrain. Uh, if you do have a UDW, UVW map on top, it'll figure that out, take it, and copy it over. And then also take the textures that are on it. Uh, if you don't have proper mapping, it's not going to actually, you know, if you don't have a UVW map on it, it is going to give you, it'll copy the material, but no, it won't remap it because we're coming up with brand new geometry. So all, all sorts of little stuff like this, you know, you just want to go and retopo and clean up some of this stuff. Now, the more faces it has, uh, the more the rays have to actually go through and look for stuff. Uh, but it is pretty efficient at going through. Um, one thing that we did look at is, you know, how can we do things without sort of damaging geometry? Um, so we do sort of lose a little bit on the edges, uh, but that's the way retopologizing works, is you're trying to redefine geometry and make it nice and clean, uh, but the edges aren't always exactly um, to, um, you know, they don't completely keep all their edges. Um, that's something we might look at in the future, is um, saying, you know, um, actually, don't touch the edges at all, but retop retopo the geometry, which is kind of difficult because the verts and everything have to line up. We would have all sorts of extra verts if we didn't uh, do it that way. Now, like I said, this is sort of different than the other retopos, so um, even overlapping stuff. So this is just like a whole bunch of overlapping geometry. And in like, as in you saw in the brief video, if I go ahead and attach this, go retopo this, Gonna set this down to like 10 and we'll go retopo this guy it'll come up pretty clean because it's it's really looking at um, sort of what is top down rays that we're looking at on this geometry so we're not really concerned about overlapping or broken geometry now of course this wouldn't really work for a teapot or anything like that but like I said you know on something like this possibly clean it up you know a little more than what you would be actually looking for and like I said the amount of little rays and stuff like that will really help so um you know, this isn't going to work for everything. So you're not going to be able to take a teapot and, or, you know, a character and retopo on this method. Uh, we're going to have our next one that's coming out is our massing model retopo, which is a completely different algorithm. Uh, but you should sort of see um, they both do different things and they're efficient at um, different things. So we can't just combine. There's no all-in-one retopologize sort of algorithm that we can do at this point. Maybe in the future, but... Um, so take a look. Um, Sculpt's going to be out at the end of this week. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. See you.